Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to change wheel bearings on a motorcycle, front wheel bearings. Um, this is going to be on a 97 Honda Magna. It's pretty similar on most bikes. Um, so okay, what we're going to do is start off, I have a little bent screwdriver that I use. You can use anything, a little hook, anything that kind of has a little right angle to it. Um, like a pry bar, pretty much anything like that. You're going to start by popping this seal out. It comes right off, there's not much holding it in there. Your speedometer drive washer, move that to the side. This is your bearing here. Down inside there, there's actually a spacer that your axle sits in. I've already taken it out so you can see what it looks like. It's just a piece of metal tube like this. Um, but in order to get these bearings out, this floats in there. It just moves around a little bit. You're going to take something and just stick it in here and pry that over just slightly. And it'll give you a little bit of a lip that you can hammer against to get the bearing out. So basically what you're going to do is use a big screwdriver, pry bar, whatever you got to hammer on. Um, square bar, round bar, it doesn't really matter, piece of pipe. Anything that'll fit through here and that you can catch that little edge on. There's maybe only a little bit of an eighth of an inch of an edge sticking out. So just whatever you can get that edge on in there and that you can hammer on. So what we're going to do is knock this bearing out. And we'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, with the bearings knocked out, it's going to look something like this. You're just going to have an empty space with a hole in there. And what you're going to want to do is uh, grab one of your bearings. We're going to use all balls again. I like their stuff. It's cheap. It's good stuff. They have a lot of stuff for this bike. Um, both bearings are the same, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, I started this one already so you can see um, What I do is I just square it up to the hole As square as you can and use a rubber mallet and tap it in about as far as you can get it with the rubber mallet um, The idea is you don't want to mess this seal up right here or you're going your bearings aren't gonna last very long so you get it in about as far as you can and then Get a socket that fits perfectly on that outer edge This is a 30 millimeter Craftsman chrome socket works really well for this um, Different bikes are gonna have different size bearings, so you'll just have to figure that out And what we're gonna do is just take a little ball peen and just tap this down in Until it's all the way seated until it doesn't go down any further and you're gonna have about a quarter inch at the top for the seal So we're gonna tap that in and we'll be back Okay, now we have the bearing seated all the way to the bottom and we're gonna place our seal in here and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to tap it down with the rubber mallet carefully and just work it all the way around the edges until it sits flush with the edge of the wheel here. Okay, so you want it to look about like that. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. All right, so it's gonna look just about flush with the edge here. You don't want it to sit right against the bearing. You want a little bit of air space in here. Um, if it sits right against the bearing, you could burn it up. You don't want to do that. But just just until it's flush with this edge of the of the rim here, and then we're gonna flip over and do the other side. Okay, back to the other side. Before we put our bearing in, we need to remember to put this spacer back in. So we're gonna drop that in first. And that just kind of sets in there like that. And then we're going to start the bearing about as square as we can get it. Now this side you're not going to be able to do with the rubber mallet because there's this lip here. So you're going to have to use just the socket and just be very careful that you're going in nice and square. If you're going in nice and square, little taps will put it right in there no problem. If you have to hit it harder to make it move, it's not going in straight. Start over. Okay, now you should have something like this. And you should have, you don't want to go all the way, all the way down. Really, really hard, tight, just till it bottoms. And now your spacer, you're going to see, is probably a little off center how this one is. We're just going to nudge that to the middle. Okay. 
Now, the next thing we're going to do, is remember this bad boy, we're going to put this back in because we want to know how fast we're going. So that just sits in there like that with the tabs towards you. And then we're going to set the outer seal in here. And again, we're just going to nice gently sit this down here. Now, this is going to, once you get it started, you can really just push it down with your thumb the rest of the way. It really doesn't take much. You just want to be very careful you're not damaging these seals because it's something you won't notice right away because it's only a dirt seal. But in about a year, you're going to notice when your front wheel gets wobbly again. So we want to keep a nice seal there. And that should sit just a hair under the lip here. Just till it bottoms out in that groove. Okay. And the next thing you're going to do is just wipe some grease on this lip here of the seal. A little bit of engine oil, light grease, just anything to, so it's not dry. Um, we're going to grease our axle bolt. Same thing with the seal on the other side. And just install your wheel, torque your axle bolt. Put everything back together and that's it. Very simple.